the open highway. This will give you an idea of what I've been talking about, Senator. I've been begging for troops to clean the outlaws out of this state. I'll call out the garrison. All you have to do is report conditions to Congress. With troops, I can do the rest. Come on down, get your hands in the air. Hurry up, hurry up, tell the passengers to do the same. I guess you better come out reaching, folks. This here bandit looks like a tub. You, line up with the others. Lady can stay inside. All right, start shelling out. You with the moth eaten whiskers. That means you, too. Hurry up, hurry up. Now you galoots, start unfastening your suspenders. You heard me unfasten them. But there's a lady present. That's the general idea. You gentlemen will be so busy holding up your pants you won't be able to stop my getaway. Hey, now, this has gone far enough. I gotta get the states to Rock Springs or it'll be off schedule. Stop that palaver. You can take off your suspenders too.
all right, miss? I think so. Thanks, Paul Revere. <laughs> Looks like you're the one that had the wild ride. Isn't rescuing ladies a little bit out of your line, Mr. Bandit? Not at all. Pleasure before business is my motto. This sort of interferes with your business, doesn't it? Well, it changes a little. But then I got a bigger deal in mind. You better not trust your luck any further and get on your horse. My luck's holding out all right. Then that might not be a bad idea. What about this stagecoach? Think you can drive it back all right? Of course. Come along then. Who rescued me, Uncle Jim? Well, then the holdup must have been a joke. Joke, nothing. That bandit meant business. Eh, Billy ain't no bandit. He staged this hold up to show you what the governor's up against. Everybody around here knows you're being blamed for these crimes. That's why Billy wanted the senator here to see how easy it is for these outlaws to pull a hold up. Just like Billy. Ridiculous. This man's alibi. They're both probably in it. There's nothing ridiculous about it. If you knew Billy the Kid as I do, you'd know he'd never rob a stage. Aren't you placing a lot of faith in him, Governor? I'd trust him with my life. And so would I. Well, we'd better shove off now. The stage has been delayed too long. that fake holdup trying to show the senator just what you're up against. But the senator wasn't convinced. And I'm afraid it's going to act as a boomerang. I guess I did put my foot in it. Now you're in worse trouble than you were before. Oh, then you heard about the movement of foot to impeach me. Yeah, this place is a hotbed of rumors. I didn't realize it's so serious, though, Governor. Serious? Why, it's almost reached the crisis. The people are about ready to call for a special election. Special election? That's right. And you know, Billy, this campaign to get me out of office seems to be too well organized for just the people themselves. Somebody who knows how to pull the political strings must be behind it. Any idea who it is? No, I haven't. But the center of the trouble seems to be right here. That's why I came to Dry Springs. Yes, but what reason would they have for impeaching you? Why, you've been the best governor the state has ever had. <laughs> well, thanks, Billy, but evidently a lot of people don't think like you do. They've laid this whole campaign of crime at my door. Not only have they accused me of being negligent in running my office, but being in cahoots with the outlaws as well. I guess your friendship for me hasn't done you any good. People just don't seem to understand. Well, Billy, I've never doubted your honesty and integrity. Besides, I owe you a debt I'll never be able to repay. Remember that time at Dodgeville? Mm, let's forget that. I'm trying to figure out a way I can help you now. Governor, you better start from the beginning and tell me all you know about it. Well, it began with this outbreak of crime that spread over this state like wildfire. And as leading citizen and banker of Dry Springs, you can be a great deal of help to me, Mr. Randall. Well, thanks, Senator, but I don't think you need any help with your investigation. You're smart enough to figure things out for yourself. I'm sure you didn't fall for that gag about the holdup being a joke, did you? Why, certainly not. But joke or not, Billy the Kid should be behind bars. You're right, Senator. And I don't like the way he's pulling the wool over the governor's eyes. Well, someone has to open the governor's eyes, and I intend doing it. Well, I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Randall. Oh, uh, it might not be a bad idea if you left your valuables in the bank as long as Billy the Kid's around town. A good suggestion. I've got to see you right away, Randall. I'm busy, Harmon. This won't wait. Will you excuse us, Senator? Why, certainly. 
I'll, uh, I'll see you later at the hotel. Right. I thought I told you not to let anyone know that we're on friendly terms. Why didn't you use the back door? I came around there twice. You weren't here. All right, what's up? Ruth Maker's been shooting off his mouth again, bragging about the jobs he's pulled with the gang. Well, you're going to have to shut Maker's mouth for him. If he spills anything right now, it'll upset the apple cart for us. You saw the man that just left? Yeah. Well, he is the key man in our whole setup. Congress sent him out here to investigate the charges that the governor is in cahoots with the outlaws. You know, it ain't going to be long I'll be running the state to suit myself once the governor's out of the way. And the senator's going to help me do it. How do you figure that? Well, I'll have him eaten out of my hand in no time. And it won't take much to convince him that the governor's as thick as thieves with the outlaws. That's going to be a hard thing to do. You know, the governor stands pretty high with a lot of folks. The senator's report's going to carry plenty of weight. And he's got a personal grudge against Billy the Kid. You know, we might get at the governor through his friendship for Billy. If we could get the kid convicted for murder, that'd be a reflection on the governor. <laughs> but he's got to kill somebody first. Maybe we could arrange a murder. And get Ruth Maker out of the way at the same time. Oh. $500 to you to kill Billy the Kid in a gunfight. Billy the Kid? $500 might be worth my life even try. Don't worry. You won't be running any risk. It'll be framed. Yeah, but, but how? Well, he'll be coming in here sooner or later. It'll be all set for him. Now listen. When he comes in. And from what the governor tells me, the outlaws are pretty well organized. You know, Bud, I have a hand-shifting gent who wants to get the governor out of office as the big boss of the outlaws. Yeah, but what's going to get him? The governor is in peace. Well, maybe he has political ambitions, too. Now the only way we can help the governor is to find a man who's giving orders to the gang. Here we go again. Yeah. Hey, let's start by having a drink. <laughs> With you, that's always a good start. Yeah, come on. Just like I said, I want to be in my office when it starts. Here's two beers. Everything's set, Randall. All right, beat it. trying to start anything, but I'm willing to finish it. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Send your argument outside. I don't allow fighting in my saloon. I got no fight with this gent. Never even saw him before. Well, you certainly have a peaceable way of getting acquainted. Now you get out of here and stay out.
Come on, Fuzz. My, my tonsils are plumb dehydrated. I think I'll stay here and soak them up a bit. Hey, Give me another beer. <laughs> What's your hurry, kid? I'm ready to finish that argument right now. After all, didn't you? Bushwhack him. I was a fair fight. He drew his gun first. Since when was it fair to shoot a man in the back? Listen, if he was shot in the back, the bullet never came from my gun. You fired, didn't you? Why, sure I fired. But I aimed for his gun hand. Let me see your gun. All right, reach, Billy. Now we'll let the law handle this. Somebody get the sheriff. Uh, just a minute. Huh? Leave your gun here. Oh, okay. uh, hiya, Billy. Hi, Buzz. <laughs> History repeats itself. Seems like I do most of my entertaining in jail. <laughs> this ain't no tea party. No. Say, what really did happen? I don't know exactly. From the way Mika was facing, that bullet must have come from the alley alongside of the bank. It could have been some poor cat trying to drag out you. And you missed Either way, I'm the go, unless we find out who did kill him. Say, Fuzz, you ought to go over that alley with a fine tooth comb and see what you can find. That's an idea. I'll go pronto. Mm -hmm. I'll stay here until you get back. so long ago. <clears throat> that dirty drag grocer could have been standing right here. Now that shell was fired about the time Ruth Maker and Billy were having that gunfight. It's been fired recently, Fuzzy, but that isn't enough evidence to do Billy any good. Yeah, but for where I found that shell, it proves that Ruth was bushwhacked. That won't hold up in court. But this may give you a lead to the real identity of the murderer. Yeah, how? The gun that fired that shell had a defective hammer. Defective hammer? Give me that shell. Fuzzy, I just heard about Billy being arrested. Oh, now don't you go worrying on Miss Mary. I'm going to do a little uh, detective work and uh, catch the real murderer. Isn't there anything you can do for Billy, Uncle Jim? Well, if he's convicted, I can grant him a stay of execution. It'll mean political suicide for me if I do, because everyone knows of my long-standing friendship with Billy. But you can't let them hang an innocent man. Billy will have a chance to prove his innocence. Mind your guns, you got my pretty handle. What are you doing with those guns? Uh, <laughs> uh, I just think I'm making you a present of a new gun rack. So, what's wrong with the one I've got? Well, I got a friend that's a mighty fine artist. He builds you a new gun rack with fancy trimmings all over, you know. With 
Mm -hmm. How soon can I get it? Oh, just as soon as I go to Pecker City. Uh, do you mind if I copy down some of the names of your regular customers? No, go ahead. Yeah, thanks. I figured you were up to something. Now get away from those guns. Uh, I was... It was an accident, that's all. I, well, uh, get out of here. And none of the guns I've managed to hold out so far have got defective hammers. Uh, keep trying, Fuzz. That's all you can do. Take the judge long to make up his mind. No, it didn't. An open and shut case. <laughs> Stand and face the court. William Bonnie, alias Billy the Kid. You have been found guilty of murder in the first degree. It is the duty of this court to pronounce sentence upon you for the final act of a life of crime and violence. Hey, wait a minute. You can't do that to Billy. He ain't never murdered anybody. Order in this court. Any further interruptions, and the offender will be jailed. You aren't helping Billy's case any fuzzy. Yeah, I reckon not, Miss Mary, but... And is the order of the court that on the 23rd day of July, between the hours of sunrise and sunset, that you be hanged by the neck until dead, dead, dead. I got an idea. And take a look at that jailer. What about him? Does he look dumb? I knew a guy with a beard once who looked a lot dumber. <clears throat> no. Uh, <clears throat> play at me something. No lop-eared bullcat's gonna call me a gun thief. Why, I'll twist your ears off if I get my hands on you. I'll tear you limb from limb. That's what I do. And I ain't it. No lop-eared bullcat's gonna call me a gun thief. Throw him a razor. Throw him a razor. Now, let me get out of here. I'll bet you never let anybody else call you a gun thief. Oh, well, we'll be for it. Now, listen, you quiet down, furry face. Ah, uh, Billy called me a gun thief. <laughs> Popcorn to black, huh? Well, I ain't no gun thief. I'm a kleptomaniac. Any kind of a maniac? It's a kleptomaniac. Yeah, kleptomaniac's a maniac. You think I'm one of them? Oh, well, come over here. I can demonstrate it better. <clears throat> a kleptomaniac is a fella who just can't help from stealing things. Uh, watches or jewelry or guns. Huh? Sure, you didn't. Cla uh, no. That ain't what I'm driving at. Now, come a little closer. Come on, closer. Maniacs, a fellow that's got a disease. Disease? Is, is it catching? No. Oh. Now, you ain't afeard, is you? Well, well. Oh, come on over. I ain't gonna hurt you. Hmm? No. You see, my mania is for guns. Guns? And when I see one, I can't help from stealing it. Can't? No. Now, uh, take that gun in your holster. What's that? Oh, when I see a gun, I got a strange feeling that comes over me. I see it coming. Yeah. And my eyes start to glaze. Yeah. And then my eyes start to jump. Yeah. Can you see him jump? Ain't jumping. Can't see him jump? I'm jumping. Well, come right up here where you can see him jump. Come on, come close. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Now. Give me that. Now. Open this door. Let me out of this cage before I drill you through the metal. Hmm? You can't do that. This, this is my jail. You can't lock me. You come back here. You can't let that guy out of there. He, he's a condemned murderer. Come on back here. Don't let him out of there. 
Come here, fur face. Ship the sheriff off my trail. Well, no one knows about this high out of mine. It'll be the last place you'll be looking for us. Except the jail. <laughs> I don't know why I ride hard with you. You're always on the jump. My stump's always empty. Oh, quit your beating, Fuzz. Maybe we can get something to eat when we go in town tonight. Are you plum local? You and me better make tracks out of this part of the country just as soon as it's dark. That's exactly what the sheriff will figure we'll do. Besides, I'm not going to run out the governor. Hey, what chance have you got with a price on your head? That's a chance we've got to take. You know, Fuzz, if I can find a gun to kill Ruth Meeker, it may lead to the man that's behind the governor's troubles. Oh, you had to wrap it. Oh, wait a minute. I can't help it if they got away. We lost the trail when they hit the brush in the foothills. I suppose this is another one of Billy the Kid's practical jokes, huh? Well, you can't blame a man for escaping when he's waiting to be hung. It shows the inefficient way the state is being run. The people may have to elect new officers who can discharge their duties properly. The posse is still scouring the country for Billy and his partner. And I'm going to send out notices to other sheriffs at once. You lock on the stable door too late, ain't you, Sheriff? I think I'll get over to the bank before Billy the Kid walks off of the safe right under your nose. It won't take much more to persuade the senator to have a special election called to impeach the governor. Well, won't it upset our plans with Billy the Kid breaking jail? Just the opposite. It's another black eye for the governor. And with Billy out of the way, it'll be safe for our boys to start operating again. I'll round up some of the men. Have them stir up as much trouble as you can for the governor. I'll plan a raid for tonight. Good. Better go the rest of the way on foot. Well, I still say you're sticking your head in a lion's mouth. I will be if I stay here arguing with you all night. Come on. Those galoots are part of the gang that hang out at Harmon's Saloon. Yeah. And there goes a bunch of guns I'd like to have a good look at. Well, what's keeping us? Come on. like they're headed for the Prescott Ranch. Doesn't look like they're paying any social visit. Come on, I know how we can get there first. Well, 
We beat him to it. Uh oh, here they come now. I've been thinking. Might be a good idea to take them in custody as well as their hardware. Might come in handy in case we find the right gun. Yeah, but 62 ain't good odds. Maybe not. It's more than one way of placing a bet. All right, men, separate. They're fanning out. That'll give us a chance to pick them off one by one. Whiskey, you're on your own. I got... The minute I give two whistles, you set fire to the barn. I say you're local. They ain't no big boss. I give the boys orders. That clip on the chin must have affected your memory. How are you coming with those guns, Buzz? Mm, no luck. None of them got defective hammers. 
Hey, let me work this farmer over. I'm a blood brother of the Comanches, and I know how to make him talk. That won't be necessary yet. He'll be more than glad to talk later. You ain't got nothing on me and the boys. What are you going to do with us? I'd like to plant you in Boot Hill. But for the time being, I'm keeping you and your playmates corralled so you can't stir up any more trouble. Come on, let's turn in. I can eat a boot. Mm. If I fried that, it'd make a good feeling of soul. Yeah. Yeah. Probably give me an ejection. Huh? for chicken. Your hankering probably landed us right in trouble. Are you sure Bill Blodgett recognized you? He couldn't have missed. I was just close enough to him where I could have kissed him. That's bad. He sure to spread the news that we're still around. We gotta work fast, Buzz. What are we gonna do? Corral as many bandits as we possibly can before the sheriff tumbles to what's going on. Uh, more than these? Yeah, more than those. Well, how are we gonna feed them? You're always thinking about something to eat. But Blodgett only saw Fuzzy Jones. Well, it's a cinch if his partners are hanging around. Billy the Kid ain't far away. He may be responsible for the boys not returning from that raid last night. Say, do you think he captured him? Anything can happen with that hombre on the loose. It's his neck or ours, and he's gonna hang. Randall, it'll take a long rope. Maybe if we give him enough rope, he'll hang himself. He's such a good friend of the governor's, I'm willing to bet that he'd stake his life for the safety of his niece. What are you getting at? If we can grab the girl, maybe we can make a trade. Well, how am I going to get to her? She takes a ride every day about this time, alone. Oh. Well, I'll send a couple of the boys to keep her from getting lonesome.
Now, Billy, the kid's bound to be hiding around the Blodgett Ranch. All you two have to do is cover that part of the neighborhood and deliberately let him capture one of you so that he'll get this letter. Yeah, but what happens after Billy gets the letter? When the kid finds out we've got Mary Arnold prisoner, he won't be worrying about us. Uh, I think this is a wild goose chase, Billy. No, I don't think so. Everybody in Dry Springs will be looking for us by now. Trails of this neighborhood will be mighty well traveled. You circle Bodger's Ranch from the other side. I'll ride straight ahead. Who knows? Maybe one of the outlaws will happen along any minute now. Well, no sooner said than done. Here comes one of them now. Watch yourself if you get stuff, Fuzz. All right, reach, partner. Now, come on down off that horse. Oh, boss figured right. What about? You being in the neighborhood. I got a letter for you. It's in my pocket. Keep him covered, Fudge. Listen to this, Fudge. Notice to Billy the Kid. We've got the governor's niece. No one will see her or hear from her again unless you give yourself up to the sheriff at once. I get my opinion of a breed of varmints that make war on women folks. Where'd you get this letter? Wouldn't do you no good if I told you. Besides, I don't know where they're keeping the girl. There's not enough time to make you tough. I gotta contact the governor right away. You can't do that, Billy. It might be a trick. Trick or no trick, I gotta take the chance. Well, then I ain't going with you. You'll stay here. I have your hands full of taking care of this fellow and the rest of the boys. And I'll need an ace in the hole when the last hand's dealt. Pick up that gun. <clears throat> Somebody's certainly going to a lot of trouble to make sure I hang. I'm beginning to see the whole picture. That proved just one thing. What's that? Evidently, they're afraid I'll tumble to that game and they want me out of the way. And they figure they can get at you through me at the same time. Well, there's no question about that, but we can't fight them, Billy. We've got to think of Mary. Yeah, I guess all we can do is spread the word that I'm back and wait for developments. <laughs> so Billy the Kid was sucker enough to give himself up, eh? You don't think I'm going to turn the girl loose till after Billy swings, do you? She's my guarantee that the execution will take place on schedule next week. Yeah, but what am I going to do with her? I'll just see that she isn't harmed. Have the boys keep a close watch on her. Waited all night, Governor. Mary isn't back yet. I tell you they don't plan on returning her until I'm out of the way. Maybe you're right, Billy, but all we can do is wait. I'm not so sure about that. You can't expect me to stand by and do nothing. I know it's asking a lot of you, Billy, but you're the only guarantee we have for Mary's safety. Well, if you put it that way, I guess I'll have to see it through. For the last time, are you going to tell me who gave you that letter? I won't tell you nothing. You ain't got nerve enough to burn me. <laughs> it don't take nerve. Sometimes I can't forget I'm a white man, even when I'm dealing with a renegade like you. I... <laughs> oh, ticklish, huh? <laughs> oh, are you going to tell me who gave you that letter? No. No, huh? <laughs> gonna tell me who gave you a letter? No. I ain't gonna tell you. Me? <laughs>
So tickled to give me a confession. <laughs> you know, I've had my suspicion of Ace Harmon, but I've never been able to pin anything on him before. This time, I'll arrest him and I'll make it stick. But you can't arrest him, Sheriff. You'll bluff his way out and then we never will find Mary. Billy's right. Looks like our hands are tied. Mine aren't. Governor, will you trust me with my freedom for 12 hours? Well, you know I would, Billy, if it wasn't for Mary. It's because of her I'm asking. But if the posse can't find a trace of her, what chance have you? Why waste any more time looking for Mary? The quickest and surest way is to let Ace Harmon lead us to her. Sounds like a good bet. But wait a minute, Governor. What if the folks find out that you and me have let Billy out of jail? He's still a condemned murderer. Well, it's up to you, Sheriff, to see that they don't find out. And if things work out the way I figure, I'll not only have Mary back safe, but I'll be able to clear myself of the law as well. Hold you by the herd. <laughs> well, I guess we put that over all right. Ace Harmon saw us, and he sure looked convinced. I don't think they suspected a thing. Hey, get me out of this thing before I choke to death. I gotta meet Billy. Well, you're closing my bedroom. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and Mary Arnold's back. That's all you know about it. Well, you blundering idiot, how'd she get away? You know as much about it as I do. Butch and Red with Gardner, and they haven't shown up. Don't give me alibis. Find out what happened. Send one of the boys to check on them. I'll take care of it right away. In the meantime, I'll see what I can find out from the governor. How'd it go? Uh, just like clockwork. <laughs> I think I'd better get me a job as a female impersonator. Uh, if everything goes as I think, you won't have long to wait. Yeah. Here comes a gent who looks like he's in a hurry to get someplace. Yeah, he's one of Harmon's gang. Taking the shortcut through the canyon. Come on. Hey, how did she get back here so quick? Well, she's been here all the time. Well, I saw the sheriff carry her into the hotel less than an hour ago. Maybe you're seeing double bridge. I was never so glad to see anybody in my life. You can thank me, Lady Fuzzy. Time up. In the corner, some more.
Well, it's about time you showed up. What happened? Jake ain't back yet. I've got a feeling something's going haywire. Oh, take it easy. There's nothing to worry about as long as Billy's in jail. Yeah, but if that girl talks, the sheriff might put two and two together and get something besides four. Ah, the sheriff ain't that good at arithmetic. Besides, the girl won't do any talking for a few days. The governor said she's still unconscious. This'll upset our plans. No, it won't. It'll just change them. Billy, the kid's going to hang a lot sooner than he expected. How are you going to get to him? Well, the committee of townspeople might be persuaded to call on him. Oh. Keep setting them up on the house. Yeah. It looks like we're going to have to take the law in our own hands if Billy the Kid hangs for the Meeker killing. You said it. You fellas are doing an awful lot of talking. And Harmon, we mean business. The decent folks of this community is tired of all this lawlessness. We're going to make an example of the kid. You Well, what are you waiting for? There's no time like the present. It's an idea. All right, everybody. Come on, we're going to get rid of him. Yes. 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 See you and Matt at the sheriff's office. What about these galoots? The sheriff can pick them up later. Come on. Sleep tight, boys. I'm afraid, Governor, that you and I are both ruined politically if Billy the Kid doesn't show up. Don't worry, Sheriff. He'll keep his word. That mob will go wild. I discover that Billy the Kid isn't here in jail. We can't take a chance on bloodshed. I'll go out and see if I can reason with him. Quiet, man, quiet. We came after Billy the Kid. Now, violence won't get you anything. Billy the Kid isn't here. We were afraid something like this would happen, so we took him to a safe place. You can't stall us, Governor. We mean business. Turn him over or we'll tear down the jail. Well, you seem to be the leader of these men. Maybe they'll take your word for it. If you inspect the jail, you can see for yourself. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Let's know. I think you and the sheriff are just covering up. Billy, the kid's got a habit of walking in and out of jails too often. The only thing to do is let the people know the truth. Billy will be here soon. I gave him his freedom for 12 hours. He promised me back at 10 o'clock tonight. You let Billy the Kid walk out of here just on his word? That's good enough for me. Well, it's not for me and the rest of the folks in this town. And I'm going to see they all hear about it. Well, I want you to find out. Well, he's not in there. We're in for a heap of trouble if he doesn't show up on time. I tell you, the governor and the sheriff are in cahoots with the outlaws. They ought to string them both up for freeing Billy the Kid. That's right. Come on. Billy the Kid is on his way here now. You men are making a terrible mistake. I just saw him a short time ago. He rescued me from the outlaws. I can't tell you more about it now, but he'll explain when he gets here. What's up? No time to explain. The whole works is blowing sky high. Come on, we're getting out of town. We're not going empty-handed. We're going to stop at the bank first. Good. Come on, hurry it up. we got to get out of town before that mob changes their mind and decides to string us up. This is the last of it. All right, let's go. Lucky for... Well, it looks like he's done for. And so are you. 
You better say your prayers while you're on your knees, Harmon. Well, what's the matter with you, Randall? Have you gone loco? I'm not loco. This is the smartest play I've figured yet. I'm not running out on this setup after all. The governor's goose will be cooked when Billy don't get in on time. And they can't pin a thing on me with you out of the way. Well, you can't get away with it. They'll hang you for it. You mean they'll hang a medal on me? It all worked out perfect. We caught Billy the Kid robbing the bank. And when we chased him, he shot you. No. Don't. Don't. a special election and put both the governor and the sheriff out of office. This is a most disgraceful performance for a man in your position, Governor, and I shall personally recommend your impeachment. If Billy the Kid doesn't come back, you won't have to impeach me. I'll resign. You'll have a long wait if you expect Billy the Kid to show up, Governor. Billy's body's on the road just outside of town. Harmon and I caught him robbing the bank. And in the gunfight, he killed Harmon and I shot Billy. Here's the money. That's not true. Billy never robbed a bank. There's the evidence. Well, it looks like that settles the matter, Senator. I wish to announce that I'm resigning from office. That won't be necessary, Governor. Maybe Harmon won't do any talking, Governor, but I've got plenty to say. Randall's the man in back of all your troubles, including the murder of Ruth Meeker. Well, I don't know what he's talking about. He's just trying to save his own skin at my expense. I got proof, Sheriff. You'll find that the slug in Harmon's chest will match the one to kill Ruth Meeker. There's another one from the same gun. Here in my shoulder. I think I'll sit down. Stand back. Get back. Come on over there. the first one makes a move, I'll shoot to kill. Hey, what are you Here's Randall's gun, Sheriff. He knows he's got a defective hammer. And here's a shell from the gun that killed Roof Maker. And I think they both match. you coming along with us, Billy? Sure thing, Governor. You don't think I'm going to let Fuzzy ride off without me, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, Sheriff, <yes. laughs> goodbye. Goodbye, Senator. Goodbye. goodbye. goodbye.